All right, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, my local True Leave uh, was so fucking slammed. I, I went over, I went to go over there, and there wasn't even like an empty spot in the parking lot. They've had computer issues, and honestly, uh, even with the thirty percent off, there was nothing really that interested me today. So uh, it was rainy, and there wasn't a lot of traffic out. And I, you know, I just thought maybe I'll take a nice little drive in the rain. You know, uh, so went over to Fluent over there in Fruitland Park. And picked up this um, Granny Smith whole flower. Uh, it was 30 bucks, 22% THC. And um, it's a green crack cross with like some strain I've never heard of that was a lot like letters and numbers. I, I don't I don't know. I never never remember those those strain names. G R B three. I don't know. Who knows? There's probably a good reason for it, but. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I think that's one big nug. Oh, I wish I bought two of this. The smell is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, wow. Way to knock that one out of the park, Fluent. If that weighs, I'm a happy boy. There's a little bit of smalls in there, and I, I will complain because, look, this was, they have smalls and they have whole flour, and you can't be throwing that in your whole flour. I mean, I guess to make weight... But uh, I guess I can't complain. That's a that's a fucking gnarly nug right there, really gnarly. Oh geez, looking pretty nice. I'm glad I took a chance. I guess um, I haven't bought from there in a little while. I, you, if you look back on my channel, I I go over there like once every few months. So it smells like kind of earthy. Oh my god, it's so sticky. It, it's very sticky. take these little bits and show you like that shit is sticky wow uh, my lighting sucks because it's raining out and I can't even open the windows up so uh you can't really see how frosted this is really this is really really frosty without further ado let's weigh it because um I'm pretty curious oh so that's like a 3.07 gram nug we'll see if there's a half a gram with these little these little uh, smalls. So for a three gram nug, I guess uh, I can't complain about having a little bit of smalls thrown in. Like I said, to make weight, I mean, at least at least it weighs. I mean, like every time I get like, well, I'm not even gonna go there. I was gonna compare them to grow healthy, but I mean honestly, this fluent buds like to me is a lot like grow healthy, just not as dry. Um. Kind of dig it. I mean, I, I need to smoke this before I really pass judgment. That's exactly 3.50, though, with just a little bit of shake left over. But, yeah, I cannot wait to uh, break into this bad boy and try this out. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried uh, Have you tried this? Um, looks pretty awesome. I might order some more and go get it tomorrow when I get some more money. Granny Smith. Oh, wow. It's sticky and it does have a faint smell of like apples or some kind of like kind of green fruity smell. Hmm. I don't know. With green crack in it, you know it's gonna be good. And I like green crack crosses. I don't really like it straight. So, uh, I guess I'll roll up this .45 uh, in a minute. I've got to go do a couple of errands. So, uh, I don't know. I'll have to leave something in the description about how this smokes. But, uh, well, you know what? Let's see if I can do this quick enough. I really do want to smoke. It has been several hours. If you know me, that's a long time. Bear with me. I'm going to have to uh, have to do this quickly. I at least want to give you guys an idea of what this is like. Because it looks pretty good. And I hate to leave you hanging, you know. Like, that was a nice big nug. I'm going to save that. Jar that up. And maybe smoke it like... Uh, Damn, I, I hate smoking those big... I hate breaking up big nugs like that. I really do. It's so pretty. In this, in this program, getting like a three gram nug like that in an eighth is... It's not unheard of or anything, but it, that's like a... That's a good score, you know? It's always a good, good thing. Cause for celebration. There's a guy that was in the comments, said he was in Rotterdam. Uh, we were chatting about the the coffee shop over there at DePool, but uh, 
I've always been looking for a strain that reminds me of one they had over there at DePool called uh, called Power Punch. And it wasn't expensive. It was like one of their like, you know, they had it in stock all the time strains. It was I think it was like five six euro for a for a gram. But uh, that shit packed a wicked punch, man. That was probably some of the best, maybe the best pot I even got in all of uh, definitely in Rotterdam. You know, definitely the best pot I got in Rotterdam. If you ever get a chance to go overseas, try Rotterdam out, guys. It's not Amsterdam. It's like so much more chill. The locals are a whole different kind of people. Not that the Amsterdam locals aren't awesome, but you know, Feyenoord fans versus AX fans. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take Rotterdam anytime. Oh man, am I gonna run out of fucking time? Jeez. Yeah, all I've got are these long papers, so I've been just cutting them down. It's very rare I actually roll one of those king-size joints anymore, especially since of being a dad and having a lot less pot money. I used to have a lot more money to try out, like, cool new strains and expensive products, and now I'm like, uh... I guess it suits my channel better, though. You know, I'm like the budget guy, you know? I'm like, I'm trying to, trying to do the best I can and not spend a ton. And uh, if this fluent smokes as good as it looks, this might be like a, this might be a go-to here. This might be something I go back for more, like sooner than later. They're having a 40% off sale on, uh, I think, all their flour, or most of it. And uh, I think it goes till the end of the month, so. Yeah, Granny Smith. This is one of the Freedom Town strains, of course. Uh, I'm not really as up on new strains as a lot of other guys with channels like this. I mean, I'm, I'm just a consumer in crummy Florida. So, if you see some lackluster shit, that's because I'm in a very lackluster state, man. Florida is... On a 1 to 10 for pot and pot quality, having been to Colorado, the Netherlands, some other places, Florida's like a 4, maybe a 3. It fucking sucks, man. Jump through all these hoops, then you have this bullshit rolling 35-day schedule for your fucking wreck. I'm not going to have time to smoke this whole thing. The video's getting cut short here, but uh, let me... Uh... Let's get a few puffs and let's 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 see what it does. First puff tastes pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Even with the paper. My experience with fluent is usually their cure. Is pretty spot on. Their trim sometimes can be a little sloppy, but their cure is usually pretty good. You usually get really light gray ashes like you're seeing there. I can taste a hint of that green crack kind of flavor, <coughs> but there's something else. Whatever the green crack is crossed with is definitely pungent and sweet. It's like sour, but hints of earthiness are there. I don't think I've smoked too many apple strains. I've not tried the apple cobbler that's so popular, and I'm not uh, I'm not um, up on most apple strains, so I think this might even be a first for me. Yeah, it's smoking pretty good. It's tasting pretty good. I'll uh, I'll finish this joint off and let you know what I think. But uh, so far, it looks like a winner, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks a lot.